Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I appreciate you giving me this this opportunity. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hop right in with it. So I was going to say, for any kid playing basketball, especially on the girls' side, can you explain the excitement from realizing, like, I have an offer from UConn? Like, what it felt like to realize that? Yeah. Uh, it felt really good. I mean, UConn's a school that, obviously, you know, growing up, they're so dominant. Um, so you know the players there, you know the coaches. Um, so, like, to have that kind of validation, I guess, it just felt – it was, like, an amazing feeling. Okay, okay. And, like, we know, like, the WNBA is, like, starting to hit new peaks. Where do you see the the, the direction of WNBA going globally? Um, I think we're headed in a really good direction. Um, we just signed a new players agreement, so we got a bunch of stuff, you know, bumped up from what it was before, like accommodations, flights, uh, money, things like that. So, like I said, I think we're going in the right direction, but there's still a lot of stuff that we want to get accomplished. Okay, okay. Who was the toughest player you had to guard in the WNBA? Ooh. <laughs> People are hard for different reasons. So I switched positions to the three. So guarding – people who are going through ball screens and like flare screens and all these things, which I didn't have to do at the four. That's really hard. But then if I had to play the post guarding like Brittany Griner or Elizabeth Cambage at six, nine is also hard. So I don't know. Everyone's pretty tough. They're there for a reason. Okay. Okay. So this is kind of a two part question. I always ask players this usually in St. Louis. I ask them like in St. Louis, but since you're in WNBA, I'm going to say your top five players all time in the WNBA. Um, Diane Taurasi and Sue Bird for sure. Um, I'd probably say Tina Thompson. Um, Candace Parker. Uh, Lisa Leslie. I don't know. There's a lot of good ones. Okay, okay. So I was going to say your top five in the league currently. Ooh, well, okay. <laughs> you can Elena Deladon. You can add yourself if you, if you feel like it. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me, of course. Um, Lena Deladon, um, Stewie, Brown Stewart. Um, I don't know. It's hard because people play differently. Um, I mean, I think I'm one of the best players in the league. I'd say <sighs> Tasha Howard's pretty good. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, when I play against people who is the hardest to guard, not just, like, generally who's the best. Yeah. Um, Emma Mieseman was really hard to guard. She got MVP <laughs> of the finals. Okay, okay. So we all know it's a team sport, and everybody says, you know, they want to win the championship. But what personal goals have you set for yourself, like, personally at by the end of your career? Yeah. Um, so obviously, like you said, first and foremost, it's the team goals, like getting a championship. That's what we all strive for. But my personal goals, I want to win MVP. I want to make it to all-star. Again, I want to get MVP in the all-star game. So those are like the things I want for myself. Okay. And high school, because like you went to Cardinal Word and I went to Normandy. So I, I like got the, I've watched you. So it's like, mm -hmm. what, like in high school, what year did you realize like, oh, I can really make it to like the next level with this? Well, I got my first offer when I was in eighth grade from Mizzou. So that was probably when I realized that I could play in college. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you first got drafted, who was, like, the biggest mentor to reach out to you? Mm. Um, I don't know. A lot – I mean, my family was all with me, and they're my biggest supporters. But I got so much love. Like, I felt – I really felt um, like the city supported me and like all friends I haven't heard from for in a long time supported me. So there was like a lot of love from different directions that kind of reached out to congratulate me when I got drafted. Okay. And every time I interview somebody, I ask them like, this is like my, my, my catch phrase or something. <laughs> so I was going to say, what's your message to your biggest haters? <laughs> uh, I would just say, keep watching. I mean, what is there to hate? Why you hate good players? Because you want to be like them. So if you hate me, that's a good thing. Okay. When you first hit the WNBA scene, what was the game where you went home and was like, okay, like people know my name now. Like people know who I, like who I am. Probably my first game. I came out really strong in my first game. I had 27 points. Um, and it felt really good because I struggled in our first two preseason games. Mm -hmm. 
And so it was like our first game of the, of the regular season. It was a home game, and I went out and kind of balled. So um, that was probably one. Okay. Like, and you're you're engaged to a trainer. Mm-hmm. So how are those games, like, coming? Like, does he try to critique your game all the time? Like, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he definitely does. And uh, you kind of have to set that line. Like, we had to do that. Like, when we're on the court, okay, you can tell me what to do. And then kind of, especially after I have a bad game or something, like, I don't want you to be my trainer right now. I just want you to listen to what I have to say. Um, stop bossing me around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where do you – where do you think STL basketball, like, lines up with anybody else nationally? I think S- uh, STL basketball is great, and the support in STL is great. Um, I mean, all our games were, when I was in high school, were, like, sold out or packed. Um, just, like, all the forums they have everywhere, the support they have just for sports in general in St. Louis. Um, because it feels like a small town, because even though St. Louis is a big city, it's not that big compared to other cities. You know, so um, I think the camaraderie within St. Louis is really strong. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to ask you to name your top five girl basketball players from St. Louis. Ooh, I would have to just say my teammates. I mean, I came to St. Louis when I was 16, too, so I didn't grow, grow up watching people in St. Louis. I grew up watching people in Jeff City. Mm-hmm. So um, kind of the first people that I saw were my teammates. So those are the girls I have the most love for. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, because I know then Cardinal Word team you was in high school was different with you, Sonya. Y'all was y'all was pretty el- Yeah. Yeah, and Carnival had a great record. I mean, they still do. They had a great record before I got there. We kept it going when I was there and they've kept it going since then. I think who knows how many uh state championships they have now. I don't even remember. Yeah. So as a kid, who installed that love of the game into you? Uh I don't know, because neither of my parents played, and I played so many sports growing up. I think, I mean, probably myself, because I just had to pick basketball. They're like, you are playing too many sports, you need to pick what you want to do. I'm like, okay, I I really like basketball. I think I'm going to stay with this. Um, But my first coach that I had in basketball, she really did. She really taught me fundamentals. She grew my love for the game. Um, So, yeah, probably my first coach. Okay, okay. The people just ask, what age did you start loving the game? (laughs) So I started loving it, um, probably high school, just because that's when you can, like, really ball on people. I mean, when you're in, like, middle school and elementary school, it's not – I mean, it's fun, but you score, like, maybe once a game. The score is so low. So it's, it gets more fun and more competitive once you get into high school. Okay. Did you always know you were going to UConn, or, like, was it, like, a school that was that close to actually getting you also – yeah, so I didn't want to go to UConn at first just because I knew how good they were. And so I wanted to beat them because I knew they were so dominant in the field. So I wanted to go to a school that would beat them. Mm-hmm. And then I went to my visit there. And once I like met the coaches and the players and they were talking to me about, you know, just their culture and their history. At that point, I knew I wanted to play professionally. So I knew if I wanted to be prepared to get to the WNBA, then UConn was the best place to prepare me to do that. Okay, which part of the which part of the game gives you like the most feeling? Like some people like scoring, some people like passing, some people like deep. Um, I mean, getting like chippy with people always gets you going. Taking a charge, like if your teammate takes a charge, that always swings the momentum. A big block, stuff like that. Not even, I mean, obviously scoring is fun, but like stuff like that is what really changes the momentum of a game. Okay, okay. I was going to say, the last thing I have for you is my cousin's over here. My cousin Jordan's over here. <laughs> Hi, Jordan. How are you? Say oh, she in the, she in the comments. She watching. Keep balling. She's watching? Oh. Well, yeah. just keep balling. I heard good things about you, so um, thanks for being a fan. I appreciate your support. I appreciate Nafisa. I really appreciate Yeah, no problem. Thanks for talking with me. No problem. You have a good day. Yeah, you too.